in this moment, what if God really wanted to deliver you and put a new song in your mouth that would be a testimony to those around you? I was baptized as an infant, um, and the Bible teaches that baptism should be a, a response to, to your faith in Jesus Christ, and I never had a chance to, to let that be a response for me. Uh, for me, that was just given to me. Um, and I've sat back in that sound booth so many Sundays and watched so many souls walk through this tub and not, and hearing the Lord saying to me that I needed to do something about that, that it's time for me to do something about that, and it's time for me to set myself right with God. And so I've asked Rich if you'd be willing to baptize me right now and right in this moment. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> So I just want to ask, is there anybody else? I, I just want to say something. Um, I became a drug addict 11 years ago. <laughs> and six or five and a half years ago, um, I just fell on my face before Christ. And he yanked me out of that dark pit. And I was healed. And I've never been baptized. Amen. And I want to be baptized Amen. today. Amen. He's just going to get baptized, sweater and all. Go for it. <laughs> Do you believe, Jessica, <laughs> that Christ died for your sins? I do. Do you believe that on the third day, Jesus Christ rose from the dead and now sits at the right hand of God? I do. This is Ron Harden. This is uh, Mike's. Mike's dad-in-law and a dear friend of mine. What a joy. What a privilege it is to baptize this, my brother, my, my son, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, buried in Christ, rising to represent him. And he came beside me and he stayed with me and in that I'm here today to baptize my daughter and I want to thank you tell you how much I appreciate you but also challenge this body to do the same for others and the Holy Spirit We come to church and we feel good and we have our relationships and everywhere around us we are surrounded by people who need the one thing we have that's why God is saying to us why he's saying proclaim Christ boldly I think he's saying that to this church I, I want to set the captives free so open your mouth and proclaim Christ. We're doing it right now. We're doing it right now. That's what we're doing. But we need to do it outside these walls even more. We need to be just as bold, just as open, just as free, just as vulnerable to proclaim Christ to others.